Hello everybody, Lemonade here and welcome back to episode 6 of our Let's Play series here in the city of Bookshaw. So in our last episode we placed our docks, which in turn has allowed us to hypothetically add a few more jobs around the area and uh, create a huge demand for population in the area as well. So it's helped us push towards the magic number of 8,000 population. Between episodes, I've uh, paved a few roads, added a few houses, and now we've ticked over into the mighty big town milestone. As you can see, we're just over the 8,000 mark, which is great because it allows us to look at to trains today, which is uh, the focus of our episode. Now, before I move into that, I want to give an honourable shout to uh, Lee Hawkins after viewing his episode. He's kind of helped solve a conundrum that I was facing in my town as well. So if you remember, I originally said, right, we must focus on a new interchange into the city. The first thing we do once we get back into the next episode. But having, re uh, having watched the uh, Tacopolis town um, that he's created on his, uh, on his uh, channel, when you set priority roads, it has an, it doesn't, crazy thing where it will go all the way back to the, high, uh, the highway okay i understand why it does it but what it's done is it's actually so we created well we did have a priority road as you remember this road has been here since uh since episode one but what it's done is it's put a stop sign right on the edge of this highway ramp and i can't access it at the moment because it's not in our tile and all these cars are now obeying it creating a huge blockage all the way up until the motorway now i didn't want to unlock this square but i'm feeling i haven't really got much of an option to get rid of that if i do unlock this we can remove the stop sign which will allow the traffic to flow into our city far more easier but it then means I've got to create something in this part. And, I, and at the moment, I have no idea what, what's going to exist there. So for the time being, I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to leave it for the moment. And we're going to perhaps come back to it when I've had a further thought what we're going to do. Today's episode, which is the trains. Now, please uh, forgive me for putting these down. They are going to be Metro. Come on, give us a break. We haven't got 11,000 yet. So um, they would have obviously been steam trains, but they're going to be electrified in this in this uh, series from the word go. But we'll have to pretend a little bit of imagination that they were still steam trains. And at this point in time, it was a huge deal to people. Absolute huge deal. It allowed travel, it allowed growth, expansion. Rather than people, you know, rather than industry popping up along the coast, we started seeing industry pop along the railway tracks because people had far more accessibility. Huge amounts of trail, uh, rails were laid down in, in Britain. Created so much opportunity. So I think it's a really big milestone for this city. So I'm looking forward to getting these down. But anyway, enough of me blabbering on, let's get building. So this is going to be our first line that connects this area all the way up into our mining village, which is going to have some expansion. We're going to have a new station somewhere in this vicinity here. So let's jump into our metro. Look at that, fits like a glove. There we go. I know, I know it's super modern, but look, we just got to do a little bit of pretending in vanilla. We have to. And uh, I'm going to kick this out with a new road out the front. This is a, new, it's a special area now. I'm going to give it some tree lines. And I think... Yeah, we can go to there, and then let's hook back into our original ones. These are obviously going to be an issue. All right. Okay. High up of, uh, height of realism here, which is going to remove a few buildings. And uh, we'll upgrade these trees to our uh, good old young linden trees. So it creates a. What, the reason I've done that is a to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of spice to the area, and uh, b I've created these walkways so people can get straight across. And then we're going to add a few little props down. I'm thinking something like a few little newsstands, our old uh, cotton candy carts. We can pretend that people were buying food or something like that. Little vendors out the front. Now I've just got to try and get these. Probably is a line there we can get them in, but it's difficult finding it. Can we put them on the end? It's going to clip a little bit, but 
you know, let's pretend that doesn't happen. And then we're going to have our newspaper stand, which I think is in props. Yeah, here we are. Let's place one of these in the corner. So you can get your newspaper in the morning, you can pick up a sausage roll or a coffee, jump straight on your train and get into that town over there, whatever you want to do in that town. One more thing. Got to have a clock, of course. People need to know when their time is so they don't miss their trains. So let's pop one of these in wherever I can. Right in the corner here. Lovely. And then I'm going to uh, straight away, I'm going to grade this area out now. We're crashing with the pillar. And I don't want to move this bridge again because I don't want to sit you through the pain of seeing that all again. So I'm going to take off all my snap twos and I'm just going to just go over to the right side of it ever so slightly. There we go. You won't see any disruption to the rail. There we go, look, straight run into the station. Lovely. All right, and we're gonna finally, we're gonna put back our path around the back of here. These guys over here have got a bit of a walk. They've got to either go over this bridge, come round here, through there, then down, cross over, cross over here if there's a node that they can. I'm not sure if they even can actually. I think they have to come all the way down here or they have to go all the way down that road and then down this road. So we'll make life a little bit easier for them and we'll put a bridge in. And we're gonna use the gravel path because it just, similar to what we did in the mine, uh, mine mining village, it just got these lovely sort of wooden, uh, wooden aesthetic to it and it just creates that, you know, that sort of industrial look. So let's put all of our snap twos on, come all the way over here I'm going to put another node, put a node in there. That's okay, it's a little bit higher, but I think we can get away with that. All right, and then we'll just remove these paths on this side. Right, maybe we'll try this first. So let's page down. Is that going to create a huge... Yeah, I don't like that. Um... Okay, let me just try and make this look good and I'll be back with you. Okay, right, after huge annoyances from this nodes and sections, I've managed to hook it in. I couldn't get it in the middle here, so we've had to go to this node here, but they can access that through there and cross over. A bit of a walk, but you know, what you're going to do, it's vanilla. Got a few sprites sticking through there, but I'm not too worried. I've hooked everything back up, so now they've got an easy way of getting over. It hooks back into our original main path. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to add one more extra path as well, just, just so we can uh, get a little bit more walkability. Page that down, take off the grid and angle. Try and match them up, something like that. And we'll hook into there. And we'll also hook into here as well. So we've got quite a bit more walkability for these guys. They can get pretty much from over this side now, straight over to here. Now I'm liking that, I like the aesthetic as well. If we zoom in, we've got the arches, we've got the railway sleepers. So yeah, it all ties in. Anyway, so we're all hooked up there. And then let's just hook our path in up this end as well. Like so. And uh, I think to finish this off, we'll put some railings in as well. Yeah, looks a bit better than just staring it into the back of these uh, buildings and from these guys point of view a little bit greener goes quite far and we can also do that at the end here as well ah we've <laughs> we're missing the bridge what's happened there and then i'm going to give a little little bit of privacy to these uh, people in these houses here if i can 
Anyway, I won't go on too much more there. I think I'm pretty, pretty pleased how that's turned out. And then finally, I'll just put one little fence here just to finish it off. And let's push on to the next one. First of all, I'm going to do a bit, little bit of pre-grading. So we're going to right-click that area up here, this point up here. I'm going to go for a bit, little bit of a bigger brush, and then I'm just going to drag that out, just to give us a smooth incline and descent, whichever way the train's heading. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same. Anyway, I guess uh, gives us a chance to kind of have a quick talk about how the series is going. I can't believe it's now kind of like the sixth, uh, the sixth episode we're on now. And uh, I guess I'm learning a lot as I'm going along. I'm hoping um, I'm not as monotone or as boring as I was perhaps come across on the first episode. And I've learned, I've learned a lot as I'm going along. I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of work that goes into the editing and it's all fun. Um, I'm getting to put some ideas down. I mean, I've always enjoyed playing the game, so I thought, you know, I might as well, uh, might as well create a series whilst I'm playing, you know, and get, it will be nice once I start getting some, uh, some feedback from you guys to, you know, as a collaborative effort, that, that is like my number one goal, is to get, you know, people's ideas in and implement them in, in the city, and, uh, yeah, just kind of build like a, sort of like a team effort. But we'll get there. Um, but yeah, as I say, I am really enjoying. I am really enjoying this series now. Um, I've got lots, lots in the pipeline that I want to do. So yeah, I've got. Um, I'm, as I say, I'm looking forward to it. So let's hook in, hook in there. It's a little bit. That's okay. It's it's not hugely. Bumpy, right? Anyway, let's uh, let's push on. As I mentioned, we're going to have the station kind of in this vicinity here. So I'm just going to make a few little changes. I think I might need to redirect this road because I'm planning on separating the rails out slightly. Just for sort of pre-planning. Now I'm going to put in a. I'm just going to use this as a slight guideline. So we'll come off this road, and uh, I'm, I have done a little kind of like drawing bit of a test in so let me just refer to the to the the uh, drawing that I've got so I can kind of get an idea of how this is going to go right okay so I've had a quick look right so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to use these dirt roads just to represent the rails let's remove these trees so I was in two minds of what to do here originally I was going to sink the highway and bridge over um, but I'm thinking because there would have been such a heavy grade to get up to that station and I'm going to split the rails for, for um, cargo and rail uh, passenger, it wouldn't have made a realistic grade. So I think we're going to use an, um, just a bridge, I think just to keep it much more simple. Right, so this is going to be, I intend it to be a cargo line. It's going to break off here and feed this ore industry. This line is going to be a bypass rail line and then we're going to have our station rail and then we'll obviously have our road in front of that. See if I've got enough room there. Yeah, it could go back one more. All right, too much. Okay, so I'm going to have to come through 10. Sorry about this. I've got a plan that I want to sort of try and follow, so I'm just trying to adapt it slightly as I go. So let's put the so the bridge going to be there. Let's put this down a little bit, somewhere like that. Be fine. Okay, and then for the time being, I'm going to use these rails as um, the train rail we've got sorry no that didn't make sense um, I'm gonna leave these rails down for kind of like a bypass rail and then in here we're gonna have this as kind of like a, a side in so where the trains would sort of pull over so we've got 
a cargo rail, hopefully, if it works out that way. We've got a bypass rail for this station. We've got a station line, and then we've got a side ends, which obviously won't get used. It's just for looks. This is gonna, our station is just gonna come out on its own little uh, road. And I think we'll keep it similar to what we've got before. So let's put some uh, trees down. Upgrade them. Sorry, let me zoom in a little bit. Like so. And then for something different, so if you'll use the, uh, I've used these roads quite a bit. I'm going to use a different road this time. I'm going to go for our four lane road with the median. So let's hook that in like so. And I'm going to go back to a dirt road. So just a little bit of planning. All right, so that's going to come out to there. Right. Okay, so hopefully this should all hook up how I want it to. Now the road that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a bridge, which is going to be this American Four Lane Trust Bridge, because I think the look of it is just, oh, it's just amazing, right? So really, really kind of like this, uh, this iron sort of pattern that we've got here with the rivets and yeah, it's just all, well, Jump really far out right there. Um, yeah, it just re I think just really suits this. It's going to suit this era like perfect. So let's pop one of them in. Now that road's actually going to have to come out further. Unless I've done something slightly wrong. Right, sorry about that, everyone. I've just miscalculated that there. I've just pushed it back one unit. Everything back one unit. So hopefully. We should be okay now. So let's come across the smallest bridge span that we can as well. I think I might have to just back that up a little bit as well. Okay, that's a little bit more smoother. There's a little bit of clip in there, but we can we can get over that. Yeah, that's a bit more reasonable. That's okay, and then we'll just descend back down. Same over here. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Come in like so. Yes. Again, let's uh, let's just upgrade these roads to our linden trees. Perfect, and then we can put a little bit more detail in, in as well. So we'll put in uh, another one of our clocks, put that on the edge. Yeah, we'll have a few of our uh, newspaper vans, newspaper stands, should I say. So I'm going to have a bridge this side too, just so it just matches the aesthetic as the other, the other town. Perfect, and then we'll do the same on this side. I mean, for the minute, I'll just bring it down. Bring that down as well. That's about here because I'm going to upgrade that road. All right, wicked. So that's that. Uh, we'll upgrade this road, and I think I'll keep this same road layout. Uh, sorry, same road type this side. Yeah, happy with that. And then what we can also do is we can put a junction in there. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So they'll come out there, come through. They'll cut across the bridge, straight down here, and then head off towards this way. Okay, so the idea is to have this, uh, eventually it will merge into this one uh, below. So sort of as it's coming into the station, it can kind of peel off to the left if it wants to bypass. Um, we'll hook this into here, out there. It's like a little side end. 
that into there. That's okay, that's a nice sweeping curve. I think what we might be able to do as well is just curve that straight into there now. Yeah, okay, awesome. That works, and then we just want to hook this into here. You can just kind of split off and bypass. Okay, and then we just got to get our road hooked back up. Just upgrade this. Yeah, that looks all right. Just a, literally just a straight road into the new town. Right, we're hooked back in with power. We're hooked back up in water. We're going to need another water tower, so I'm going to drop that in right now. I might as well put another one somewhere like that. Okay. Uh, just to upgrade these trees as well. Very nice, very nice. We've got a road in here, we're all connected there. We're connected with electric over here. Our lines are all connected up. Amazing, we have got, oh, the last thing to do is just put one more fence down and I think I can get the train line in. So let's join here to here and back again. If we press play, Should see a train pop out. No, nope, I'll do it this way. Right, so we'll have a red line. And of course, it's got to be the underground train. Hopefully, after, there it is. There it is. Look at that. Yes. We've got our first train. Awesome. Why don't we uh, just jump on board quickly? And see it going along. Make sure there's no lumpies and bumpies everywhere. Brilliant. And then, oh yes, that is a cargo rail. So that is great. So that actually does mean then eventually we can peel this line off somewhere into, into the uh, oil mine over there. Right, so what is the problem here with water? Should all be okay now. We could I'm very pleased with that. And then this uh let's just have a look what it looks like coming into our other station as well. Looking good. Yeah, looking good. It does remind me of kind of like suburbs of London if you've ever been on like one of the trains that sort of come out that way. Just got that aesthetic where the train lines are really quite close to the, the houses. But yeah, really, really, really happy with that. So we've got our first bit of public transport finally hooked up. So what's the time on the episode? Have we got time to do one more thing that I want to do? Now what I've been doing is I've been setting up a few districts uh, just like this, kind of getting a name and when I was happy with it, I've just kind of like uh, kept it and just kept going through. So I've cho chosen, we need to name, rename five areas and I've chosen these names at the moment. So I think we'll start off with, uh, so I'm not going to exactly go for this Thornton Square. I'm just going to nick the first bit of the name. I noticed over here we've already got Thornton Hill. So in my opinion, it just makes, makes sense to call this, this whole village Thornton. Like so, and I don't, I'm not sure why this says hill because we're not really on a hill. Um, at least I don't think we are. So I'm going to call this Thornton Park. All right, so that does our first area over here, which is great. Uh, and we can also call this. Now I'll tell you what, we'll leave Myrtle Farms. Again, if you want to change the name, please let me know. But for now, I'm just gonna leave this as Myrtle and this is Hickory. I'm happy with that. All right, so the next one we're gonna look at is the, the other village that we first originally started off with, is this place over here. And I'm gonna call this one 
oak. Um, now this one could be called hill because it is on a hill. So why don't we call this one oak hill? And the reason it's tying in with that is because we've got some oak trees up here. So I just think that's a little bit fitting of the name really. And also we've got autumn, you know, autumn leaves that kind of uh, sort of blends in well with it, I think. So let's, let's go for that. So let's call this autumn park and goodbye to pine heights. You are now called Oak Hill. So next one I want to do is our big town and I'm going to call this quite fitting of the era. I thought this worked that well. Let's call this Victoria. So we'll name this one Victoria, the main part of the city. The other part of the, the town over here. So let's name this section. I'll tell you what, I was thinking maybe we name it either east, north, south. Uh, I'll tell you what, where's the sun? Right, I think it's over here. That'd be east. North that way, east. All right, let's call this uh, East Victoria then. If I've done that wrong, please do let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's east. That would be west, north, and south. So, yeah, so we've got East Victoria, Victoria. And we'll name this Victoria Park. All right, and finally, Let's look at our last town up here, which is called Summit Park. Um, I think this one, the name, Coal Ridge. We're kind of extracting coal and metal over here. I thought, you know, it, again, it just seems to fit the name. So let's go for that then. Right, perfect. So let's get rid of that. Right, so we all got some names down here. Oh, apart from that one, that's not spelt right. Right, wonderful. So we're all set up. It'll be nice to now kind of refer to these name, these parts of our town by names. Um, but as I say, if you want to change them, please do let me know. Right. So I think I'm going to kind of wrap, wrap the episode up here. Before we do go, I'm going to give you your usual cinematics of what we've covered today. But in terms of the um, the series as a whole, as I mentioned earlier, really, really enjoying it. I've got a lot of plans to put in. Uh, ahead of the the next uh, next episode, you know, before we kind of like move on in this area, I really want to get a botanical garden somewhere in the city. I'd like to get the forestry in place. I'm thinking maybe we we look down here. I can add some more trees, and because obviously this wasn't here, so maybe we can perhaps put it something down here, and then it gives me use of that tile. Um, I want to do some expansion up in Coleridge. And I also would like to look at sort of a power state, our power situation and some sewerage works. I'd like to clean this up a little bit if we can. So, yeah. So if, anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, if you can please subscribe, like the video and drop a comment if you wouldn't mind. It'd be very, very much appreciated. And I look forward to, you, to seeing you in the next one. Anyway, I'm leaving you with some cinematics. Take care. Bye bye.